did that. So guys, pretend like we did that all over again. And let them up, Kaylee Cooper! on Reddit that you don't use in real life, and I've heard of the word circle jerk not as a sexual way. I've heard of it as just like, you know, like, I don't know, uh, making each other, I, I don't even know what it's supposed to be, but I was at work, and I was asking my coworker Ryan if I could expense something, he's like, ask Scott, ask Scott, Scott says ask Bill, I ask Bill, Bill says let's go ask Ryan, I'm like, this is a fucking circle jerk. <laughs> not an appropriate term to use at work, I had to apologize so that I don't get HR call on me. <laughs> Uh, they say to dress for the job you want, not the job you have. <laughs> I'm not sure what job this would be for this guy to cook today, but I'll let you use your imagination. Maybe I'm a better useful salesperson. <laughs> my parents bought this shirt for me when they found out I bought my useful. Shows how the comedy runs through our family. <laughs> Never too early to be regular. Alright, uh, yeah, today's my birthday. I'm so glad that you sang me happy birthday. I don't really have a lot of friends in Chicago and I've lived here every year, but you know, part of it is I am addicted to my job. Um, I've just did five straight weeks of field work and I'm about to go into seven straight weeks of field work, so um, I'm here about as often as well, I'm about here as quick as there is a tray of brownies. They get in my office, they get eaten in like five seconds. Um, I'm here as often as I pretty much get Bumble matches, which is never, so. I'm here so often that my Google timeline will be like, welcome to Chicago. I'm like, I fucking live here. <laughs> never here, it's fine. Um, I got two birthday cards in the mail. One had kittens on it, the other was Barbie. Is it 13 going on 30 or 27 going on seven? <laughs> it's hard being the youngest in the family. You get treated like the baby. Um, but yeah, doing field work, we rent cars from Enterprise, usually we get SUVs, sometimes they upgrade us when SUVs aren't available and we get a truck. Now do you guys know the overcompensation truck? No. Woo! You know the truck that someone like revs their engine and they're driving like an asshole and you're like, small penis, when they're driving it? <laughs> yeah, those trucks. I'm not talking about the trucks that people who work in construction know. Those trucks have dirt, they have scratches, they have this, they have shown their work. I'm not talking about the trucks of farmers that smells like manure. I'm talking about the trucks that are spick and span spotless, and the guy is a fucking financial analyst in the city. He does not need a truck. He only bought that truck to make up for what he is lacking in life to make him feel better. Small penis. <laughs> Safe to say I'm not putting this video on my Facebook. <laughs> drive one of these trucks because we exchanged the vehicles and I drove from Iowa to Chicago and I was so excited to see the commercials and was like vroom vroom. No. The gear shift was a knob, like an air conditioner knob. Think, drive, think, reverse. I guess these overcompensation guys just can't get away from having a small knob. <laughs> Speaking of small knobs, I helped my parents move recently. And that transition will make more sense in a minute. I might go over my five minutes, I'm sorry, it's my birthday, I'm just going to use that birthday card all day. So, um, my parents moved from a three-story home to a one-story home. Their hoarders did not get rid of enough stuff. The person who built their home, his girlfriend and subcontractor all helped them move for a solid four hours. They quit at 10 p.m., I quit at 3 a.m., my parents worked on until 4 a.m. I said, why don't I just get a hotel room because we're not going to have the bed set up in time for us to go to bed. 3 a.m. rolls around, I go to the hotel, this is my hometown, this is where I went to college, went to high school here. Lo and behold, who's working the front desk? The guy who I had my one and only micro penis experience with. I love the awe, I appreciate that. And I call it an experience, not sex, because you can't have sex with a micro penis. There's really no punchline to this other than that's my life. I am not spiritual, I am not religious, but I do believe that the universe likes to fuck with me sometimes. <laughs> One last example of this, and I'll end on this, is I was coming out to therapy appointment waiting on the elevator, 14th floor. Guy comes out and his kid is with him and they're also waiting on the elevator and the kid goes, why do you wear glasses? 
So I said, or his dad goes, I don't want to wear his glasses for the same reason. Remember, it's very sweet. And I was like, yep, blind as a bat. Can't see a thing. Elevator doors open, blind woman. She heard everything I said. Yeah. At least she couldn't see me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.